nature's planet. Rosie's Red Hood Adventure. Hi friends and welcome to Miniature's Planet. You all must have heard the famous story of the Red Riding Hood. Today, I'll also share a story of a Red Riding Hood, but this one's a little different from the old famous story. Once upon a time, in a colorful village nestled between rolling hills and whispering trees, there lived a little girl named Rosie. Rosie was known for her bright red hood, which she wore every day. She loved to explore the magical forest that bordered her village, and her red hood made her easy to spot among the trees. One sunny morning, Rosie's grandmother fell ill, and Rosie's mother asked her to take a basket of goodies to Grandma's cottage. Be careful in the forest, my dear, Mama warned. Stick to the path and don't talk to strangers. Rosie nodded and set off with her basket, her red hood bobbing along the way. The birds chirped happily, and butterflies danced around her as she skipped into the heart of the enchanted woods. As Rosie strolled along the path, she noticed a peculiar sight. A fluffy blue bunny hopped out from behind a bush. Hello, Rosie, the bunny exclaimed. I've heard you're going to visit your grandmother. Would you like some help finding her cottage? Rosie's eyes widened with delight. A talking bunny? How wonderful! She thanked the bunny and happily accepted its offer. Together, they ventured deeper into the woods. As they walked, Rosie noticed the trees whispering secrets to each other. Did you know, one tree said, that if you twirl around three times and clap your hands, the path might reveal a shortcut to your grandma's cottage? Rosie giggled and twirled around, clapping her hands. Suddenly, a sparkling trail appeared before her. The bunny hopped along the magical path, and Rosie followed with excitement. They soon reached a clearing where a wise old owl sat on a branch. Little Rosie, the owl hooted, would you like a piece of advice for your journey? Beware of the sweet-toothed squirrel. It might try to trick you into sharing your goodies. Rosie nodded, grateful for the advice, and continued on the magical path with the chatty bunny. As they approached Grandma's cottage, a mischievous squirrel with a mischievous grin crossed their path. Hello, little girl with the red hood. What delicious treats do you have in that basket? The squirrel asked, eyeing the goodies. Rosie remembered the owl's warning and decided to outsmart the squirrel. Oh, dear. Dear squirrel, she said, I have a magical apple that can make you the fastest squirrel in the forest. But first, you must let us pass safely to Grandma's cottage. The squirrel's eyes widened with excitement, and it agreed to the deal. Rosie handed the squirrel a shiny red apple, and with a quick nibble, the squirrel darted away, leaving Rosie and her bunny friend to continue their journey. Finally, they arrived at Grandma's cottage. Rosie knocked on the door, and Grandma welcomed her with open arms. Oh, my sweet Rosie. How delightful to see you. I missed you so much, my little girl. Grandma exclaimed. They shared the goodies from the basket, and as Rosie enjoyed a warm hug from Grandma, she realized how the magical forest had helped her on her adventure. The talking bunny the whispering trees, the wise owl, and even the sweet-toothed squirrel had all played a part in making her journey special. The next day, Rosie returned home with stories of her enchanted adventure, and the village children couldn't believe the magical creatures she had encountered. From that day forward, the children of the village often explored the magical forest, hoping to experience their own delightful adventures. And so, the colorful village in its enchanted woods became a place filled with laughter, magic, and the spirit of friendship. And every time Rosie wore her red hood, the memories of her extraordinary journey brought a twinkle to her eye and a smile to the faces of all who heard the tale. So, my dear little friends, if you have enjoyed the story of Rosie and her jungle adventure, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stories. Don't forget to check out other short stories on this channel, enjoy with your friends, and keep exploring. Miniature's Planet